I play flag football because I think it's something different from soccer. I wanted to try something new. I was a dancer before I moved here. So I was like, why not try something different? I play football, like sports in general, because I've enjoyed it ever since I was a kid. I've done cheer since my freshman year. It started off as like a way to just get out of the house, but then it turned into like a love for it. I actually play tennis for my dad. My dad graduated from Magnolia in 1987, and he used to play golf and tennis. And when he passed away when I was a freshman, I was like, I'm gonna jump in and play tennis too, just to, so I can see and experience what his high school experience was like. Obviously my dad inspires me to do my best, but also my coaches and my teammates. And what inspires me to do my best is my coach, Coach Alyssa, because she always pushes me to my limit. My mom comes to my games, and when I'm out there, I want to make her happy and make her proud of like who I am. As a cheer team, my teammates are very, very important and to me, each and every one of them as individuals because especially when it comes to certain things, we can't do anything without a single person there. It's very important to have everybody there and they're also like a second family to me. I always call them like, oh, I gotta get my cheerleaders, gotta get my girls over here. They're like my sisters, especially the sophomores. Like, I am really like have a close relationship to them and I support them by like always checking on them or like every time they make a mistake, like it's okay. Like, you don't gotta worry about it. You gotta be dedicated. Some of our teammates, like when they don't show up, it really affects the team. So it shows me like all of us need to be dedicated to be successful. I don't think that I would have made it this far in school or in my athletic journey without good communication in clubs and in school. Communication is really important. You learn a lot of life lessons in sports, especially while being a scholar athlete. You need to learn how to manage your time. So doing sports as well as balancing school is a very good life lesson. It's definitely being dedicated. Like you gotta make sure you're there every day, be there for practice. And it, it works in real life too, because when you're at a job, you gotta be there every day. And if you take time off, it's gonna affect you. So you gotta be dedicated and just be there, responsible.